This is a book review of the International Book of Comics by Dennis Gifford. This book came out in 1984. It's a fairly chunky book. You can see it's quite a size. There's the spine. I'll just got to turn around and look at it. See there. There's the back cover. And it's obviously it's got the back around there, so you can just see the same, same inside. And what a lovely volume this is. This is a real great. Just going to quickly go through it. This Gifford, obviously, vast knowledge of comics. And these books are always great. He produced loads of great books. And this one is no different. This is a just a superb volume. So, what does it cover? Well, virtually everything. This is the thing about this book. It's the depressing thing about the book as well, because in many ways, of course, you, you find comics in here and you think, oh, I'd love to get that or see that or read that. And of course, unless you've got vast resources, maybe it was easier back in the 60s, 70s to pick up all these comics. I'm quite certain it was, though some of the foreign ones would be still tricky to this day. But even with things like obviously eBay, auction houses, etc., some of these magazines will be very hard to find. So you've got here, Midi Malone, Frank Doodle. Now this covers, this covers everything. It's not just American centric. So you've got, obviously you've got Charlton Comics, you've got Classics Illustrated, you've got uh, Dell, you've got Sherlock Holmes. So it's actually got lots of different sections. You've got Comic Kids, Christmas in Famous Funny Land. You've got their Paint in the Old Town Pink, whatever that is. And it's also books from all over the world. So it's just absolute brilliant collection of things. You've got, that's obviously American ones, you've got Western ones here. So you've got, but what it does, he's got like a section here. You've got a section and then some black and white, of course, and some color picks of things. Then you've got uh, Westerns, you've got Comics Fly High, you've got the Yankees Are Coming. So you've got OK Comics, this is obviously a, a UK one. I suspect it'd be very hard to find copies of these things. Superman ones, Black Cat, Miss Fury, Moon, obviously Wonder Woman and Supergirls. And also the comedy comics, Cosmo Cat, Hoppy, Comic Capers. A few issues of these ones. Super Goof, Taffy, and of course, War Comics. And you've also got, obviously, the English comics, Ace Malley, Malloy, maybe Malloy, probably more likely said that. Sun Weekly, Valiant. Giant wall picture comic. Actually, that was a weird one. That's odd. A real thin one. Never seen that. I have to say, wall picture library. Then you've got obviously the American War comics. But you've also got not just they've got promo comics. So it covers a vast amount of things. Classic illustrated British style. So you've got uh, that British ones there. Tales from the Great Book. Catholic comics, obviously religious ones. You've got horror comics. You've got Frankenstein, etc. Then also you've got Worlds of Horror. And this is this is the depressing thing about this, because it, lots of these books are pretty, very hard to pick these up. Obviously, if you go to France, Germany, you obviously lots of uh, second-hand stores there. Maybe if you're looking around, you might be able to find copies of these, but it's very hard to tick the one issue. However, I have picked up over the years issues of like, things like Vanessa and Spuck, whatever these are in, in English, I have no idea. You've got uh, comic horrors. You've got also girls' comics all over the world as well. So it's not just, obviously you've got here Tina. Of course, we got that in the UK. Well, we did back in the 60s and 70s. But you've got Tina comic, which was a Dutch comic. Of course, there's some ones there. But you've got here, like, Le Semaine de Suzette. Obviously, the uh, Suzette Weekly. So you've got a lovely magazine there. Again, probably very tricky to find copies of that. Maybe in the library. Maybe if you go to France and maybe there's a, a library where specialises in old French comics, you might find a copy. Toyland comics, Slumberland to Wonderland, science fiction comics, sports comics, radio comics, star film comics, TV comics, Saturday spectaculars, and stereo, <laughs> stereo comics, adult comics. And uh, just even there, some adult comics, you've got obviously Crime Illustrated, you've got The Shock Illustrated, the uh, ones from uh, obviously EC, Warren Comics, obviously Vampirella, you've got Epic, Heavy Metal, Underground Comics, and then you've got the index at the back. I mean, this is just an absolute gem of a book. This is just 
super comprehensive. And like I say, it is depressing because there's so many great comics in here. Do you think, ah, oh, I wish I could read that. At a mage combat, you probably could find copies of that. I'm certain that's, but some of these, I think you'd struggle to find copies. I'm not saying that I wouldn't look for them, but I think it's, uh, but it's still, this is an absolute brilliant book. If you can find a copy, definitely, definitely recommended this one. International Book of Comics by Dennis Gifford. And of course, many other books that he produced that are all pretty amazing. This was a W.H. Smith one, you can see W.H. Smith there. 